Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick video on how to import a character into Houdini through an FBX and then also how to export it back out. So let's start off with creating a geometry node. And in this geometry node, I'm just gonna name it character. And in here, it's going to be a FBX character import. And we can find the file. I have this file here. So this is a character I have. It doesn't have any textures or anything. So let's just modify it so that we can add something like textures. So let's create a material network. And inside of here, I'm gonna create a primary or principled shader. Okay, and now that I have that, I'll just add a texture. We'll do the base color, export, and I got textures. Let's use this one and we'll use base color. So that way we should have a material that we can use. Then all we gotta do is export a material. So, or sign the material. We're gonna create a material node. And inside of this material node, we just need to find that material we just created. Okay, so I have the material assigned, and then we can do a character FBX. So it's the ROP FBX character output. And we'll put it here. And then the first one is the rest geometry, second one is the capture pose, and then if you have any animation, that's the third pose here. Right now it's just exporting to where my file is saved and naming it out FBX, so I'll save that. So now we should have an FBX with a material and texture assigned. So here I am inside of Blender, and I can go into import FBX. There we go. And then find that file. So if we look, we have that and let's switch over to shaded mode. And we can see that we have the texture assigned in there where we didn't have a texture before. Then if we wanted to, ch uh, we could check in Maya and in Maya will be the same thing. We we'll just import it create a new file, file, new file, don't save, file, import, and then find the file, the output FBX, and here, if we look at the shaded mode, it's there, we have the textures. I didn't do any work on the material itself, so it looks a little weird, but that is kind of the basics of what we want to do. So we modified the FBX somehow, in this case just adding a texture, and then we exported it out so that we can use it in other software. All right, hope you found this useful. Thank you very much, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.